I've never filmed in this room, so this is gonna be interesting. The other day, I went to one of my favorite stores ever it's called Daiso, and it is essentially a Japanese dollar store. I believe everything is around a dollar fifty in US dollars, and it is the best thing ever. So I went there the other day because I was doing a little bit of holiday shopping. I was just kind of looking around for like little knickknacks and gifts for my friends and family, and. I, of course, was looking at every single item that exists in the store because they're always changing things up and they have super adorable things. Their marketing is adorable. I mean, it's just, I don't get it, but I don't need to because I just love it. If you have a Daiso near you, I highly recommend going and checking it out. They are so cute. Everything is so cute. It's amazing. I love it. And they have everything ranging from kitchen, bathroom, clothing, makeup, jewelry, like they have everything. Anyway, check out Daiso if you have the ability to. When I was in Japan, I fell in love with it. It was like my favorite part about my trip. No, I'm just kidding. Japan is incredible, highly recommend it. Um, beautiful, beautiful country. So I was in Daiso and I ended up in the kitchen section and I was like, I feel like a lot more people could benefit from shopping at stores like this. So we're gonna test out some items today that are specifically kitchen gadgets. There are some items in here that you normally would not see at your American dollar store. So I'm really excited to try them. This is the first one. This one is a three-way spiral cutter. Okay, I do feel like this is something that you can get in the United States like typically, but I don't know if you would be able to get it at the dollar store. My cats are going to be invading my space the entire time because they think that everything in my house is there. So we're gonna make some zoodles. Wait, it says three way. Noodle thick cut, noodle thin cut, and spiral cut. Wow, okay. So three way spiral cutter, I don't know. I don't know how to take this part off. So all you do is you just, am I going the right way? I feel like this zucchini is kind of big for this. Oh my god, everything I say, I swear to god, like, it's questionable. It's just a questionable sentence. But this is probably gonna get demonetized. It's too big. Cut this, and then we're gonna try it again. Okay, let's try this again. This is not proving to be very good for me. Okay, cutting it in half was not the move. I think you're supposed to push it in and then it comes out, but I can't get it to come off. Okay, well that was a fail. Maybe if you have a smaller zucchini. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try carrot. We should try carrot. This is a good carrot, okay guys? Okay, okay, zoodles! Okay, I don't know. This just looks like compost to me. Do people really eat this stuff as noodles? Cause this is questionable. This is working though. And you can eat them as a replacement for pasta because you are an insane person. Please eat, just, just eat the pasta. For a dollar fifty, it worked. If you need something like that, go to Daiso. This one is just a peeler, like for vegetables again. But it has this little plastic cap on the top of it to collect the peel for easy disposal. Okay, I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty smart. And we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, should I be impressed? I don't know if I should be impressed or not, but I am. Um, I don't know if the cap did anything. Like, okay, let's just do it again. Okay. That, that is smooth. I am a little bit scared of like hitting my other hand, but... Are you serious? That is like, do I just not know anything about peelers? And I feel like this is really good. Like it's really smooth. It's really easy to do. It just comes right off. I just peeled that whole cucumber in like a second. Does anybody else eat their cucumbers like corn on the cob? I don't actually do that, I'm just being weird. 
I have cucumber stuck in my teeth now, so that's it's really nice, I love that. The rating on that one would be a 10 out of 10. I loved that, and I'm actually going to use that in place of my other peeler that I have. Okay, next one, let's go. Let's freaking go. By the way, guys, I got quite a lot of these, so this is gonna be a long video. This is a packet of rice, okay? This I actually bought to use with another thing. This is probably one of the most exciting things that I bought today, even though it's not anything crazy but i think it is so cute this one is a punch for nori sheets which is like a seaweed sheet and you put it on rice for like a bento box and it makes a little face on it it's so cute this one is a cat face it also says that there is two all kinds it says that there's a panda face so it just kind of like goes out like that and it punches the little face and then you put it on the rice and then you got a little face on your rice so i just broke off a little piece this is a pre-made sticky rice i didn't have any rice actually it says that i have to heat the rice for one minute so i'm gonna go do that really quick the rice is done Ooh, stamp it i need like tweezers or something i just have to somehow get the whiskers out of here um because they're still like kind of attached okay so i'm sorry that the whole camera just moved guillermo just attacked it it for some reason the whiskers just like aren't coming out so maybe okay one more time we got this we got, we got this Okay, so it had to have punched the whiskers out of that one, right? No, it didn't. It doesn't have any whiskers, but it still deserves love and affection, okay? I did my best. <laughs> Look at him. Look, he's, he's adorable. I mean, I'm not gonna eat it right now because I just touched my cats. I like the idea of this one a lot. I think it is really cute. Am I good at using it? I could use a little bit of practice, perhaps. Let's move on to the next kitchen tool. This one is an apple core. I own one of those cores where it like slices the apple and it like takes the core out of it. Really love that. I don't think I got it at a dollar store. I, I do think that I got it at an Ikea though, so I don't think it was like expensive or anything like that. So it looks like this. And pretty much what you do is you just shove it into the middle of the apple and you spin it around and then you take the core out and that's it. And apparently the core of an apple is the same diameter with every single apple ever. This is my apple. These apples are so delicious. I was eating them the other day and I was like, what is this? Where did this come from? Aldi, I bought it at Aldi, I love Aldi. I just another store where I'm like, if more people knew about Aldi, like, oh God. Don't get me started on Aldi, I love Aldi so much. Oh God. Oh no, I don't think it's working. This is insane. It just took it right out. It's like stuck it in, swirled it around, pulled it out, no more core, that's it, simple as that. And now there's just no, there's no core left. I'm really happy about that, that's so cool. Look, watch this. Okay, it didn't work. That was embarrassing. Look at that. And then... Apples are so good. Cute little tube of apple. I feel like this would also be like a fun way to cut your apples for like children to like make them eat their fruits. I mean, your children should eat fruit anyway, but... I don't know. By the way, this is by no means like an ad for Daiso, except for me being an advocate of Daiso because I just love Daiso. Okay, the next item. We all know these bad boys. We all know that they are full of seeds. Always full of seeds, everywhere, it's a mess. And you know what? They're just so delicious that we can't help it. We just deal with it, okay? We just accept our fate. We gotta get all the seeds. You know, when they stick to everything. Anyway, okay, it's really not that big of a deal. This one is a bell pepper and paprika stem remover. And I, don't have anything like this. I always just like cut all the sides and then like cut down the little slivers on the ends and just pray that it works. 
shove it in there and then take it out. This is a big bell pepper. I don't know if this is a normal size bell pepper for Japan, so this might be too big. So we're just gonna stick it on there. I don't know how this is supposed to work. This is not working. Oh my God. <laughs> think that this is what it's supposed to look like afterwards. Okay, I did it wrong. There's two pieces and I just, we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, so we're just gonna stick it in here. Oh, I feel like it's gonna like spray in my face. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, look at that. It's in there. And then it says when you pull out, it will all come out. Mm. Okay. It did take it out. It took out the top of it. There's still some stuff in there, but I could just scoop that out with a spoon. I guess that it did do what it was supposed to do. It removed the stem. I, for some reason, hyped it up both in my mind and to you guys that it was going to get rid of all of the seeds, which it totally did not do. There is plenty of seeds still in there, and there's actually still some of that like weird like pulpy looking fibrous stuff on the side. Did it do what I thought it was going to do? No, but that is my own fault for thinking that it was supposed to do something that it wasn't supposed to do. Okay, this one is actually really exciting to me because I've never had anything like this. Although I have seen these before, I have never used one before. So this one is a potato peeler, but you like rub the skin off of it. I've never used anything like this. It's like textured on, I think on both sides and it just rubs your potato skin off, which I love potato skins. I don't know, you guys should probably eat your potato skins too. They're good. Big potato here. Like I got a big fat boy. So we're just gonna, I did wash it, okay? All of these vegetables are clean. Okay, I'm just gonna say really quick. <gasps> okay, it it's easier to peel it with a peeler. It's this is not easy. Look at this. I just scrubbed the shit out of that potato. I'm gonna try the other side, this side, and see if this side works better. So like just show you how this works. Guillermo wants to be a part of this too, obviously. Definitely do it on a wet potato. A million times easier. Also, the other thing I noticed is like all the skin is like clumped up in here and it's gross. And that's, yeah, that's just, I don't know. I feel like you would have to like rinse it out constantly. And maybe it's the type of the potato that I'm using too. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. It's so good. Okay, it's a little bit harder than the cucumber was, but it's so easy. This is high quality content. This is what you guys are here for. Potatoes. I didn't like the rubby potato peeler. I give that one a zero out of 10. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like it. I thought that it kind of sucked. We have one more item to test. This is called the hot spring egg maker, right? Is that what it says? Yes. Sorry, the hot spring egg comma maker. It's kind of ironic because my friend the other day was just telling me that her boyfriend makes eggs in the microwave and I was like, what? And I thought that it was like one of the craziest things ever and he was just like, yeah, we make eggs in the microwave, it works, like it doesn't matter. And you know what? Teach their own. And like no judgment, I just thought it was so funny. And then at Daiso, I find an egg microwave cooking hot spring. I don't eat very many eggs like by themselves, like just like an egg, but if you do eat eggs, I feel like this could be a really fun, easy way to cook an egg. It looks like a soft boiled egg. Do we see this? This looks like a soft boiled egg. So in my mind, I thought that it would stay in the shell, but apparently according to these directions, you take the egg out, you poke a bunch of holes in the yolk, put water over it, so you're kind of like steaming it. You're steaming it. Hot Springs Egg Maker. Steam bath for your egg. I do have to say that it's pretty cute. It's just like this little 
John. I don't know how this is really doing much of anything. This is like just a little plastic tub that you put an egg in. I don't know how I feel about this right now. Oh my God, this is weird. I've never done this before. It says to poke it so it doesn't explode. That much water just so it's like over top of where the yolk is? Close that little guy up. Okay, so the lid was like popped up. What? I wonder what the yolk looks like. It's hot, it's definitely hot. I shouldn't have touched it, but it says to drain the water. Okay, and now we have an egg. This is what it looks like. It definitely cooked it, like it's cooked. And I'm just excited to see what the yolk looks like. Okay, that's not that bad. Honestly, could be worse. I think we should try it again and we should do 50 seconds instead of a minute. So, I just tried to do it for 50 seconds and this is what happened. <laughs> It exploded and it <laughs> my roommate is not gonna be happy about that. Okay. I don't know why it exploded. I even stabbed the yolk a bunch just like it said in the directions, but um, that one seems kind of almost dangerous. I don't know if it's dangerous, but it literally like exploded in the microwave. So I don't know. I know that you guys want me to eat this freaking egg even though I don't wanna eat the egg. It's not awful, but it's not for me. I don't really like eggs, and I don't really like microwave eggs. Um, the consistency is definitely different than normal, and I don't, I don't like it. But if you if you normally eat microwave eggs, like my friend's boyfriend, then you might really like it. So, dollar fifty at Daiso. <laughs> that is it. That horrible exploding egg was my final. Guillermo is still here with me, being a butt. Well, you guys, I have to say that was an awful lot of fun. I just had such a good time eating that egg right now. For $1.50 each, I only spent maybe around like $15, probably less than that. And I got a lot of cool, interesting things that like I can definitely use in the future. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which was your favorite tool. I probably will do more of these videos, not necessarily like just kitchen gadgets because Daiso has so many things. I hope that you guys had a good time. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a good old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And I hope that you guys are having a good holiday season. I will see you guys in the next video.